Another example using MLOC. Here we are taking a structure with two fields, name and an age. It has a tag name. So what is the size of this structure? Like we talked before, the best way is to print the size of the structure, right? Sorry. The, so the size of this structure can be printed, uh, can be known size of struct and user. That is the size, okay? So this as a tag name, so we are using that, all right? And uh, we have declared two pointers, all right? And if you pay attention, we are not, we have not yet declared a variable, but we have only declared a pointers, two pointers. Now, we will point these pointers to a dynamic memory, okay? Dynamic memory from the heap space. So like we talked before, we will allocate two cells. Each is of size of struct underscore user, right? Whatever the size, in this case, it's easier to find. It's a 16 bytes, right? Name is 12, integers 4, that's 16. So we have 16 bytes times 2, so 32. But we don't hard code this. We use the size of operator. Right, because as we know, we might change this structure and we don't want to use any other hard coded value. That's why we are using the constant. And that returns a void pointer. We cast it to a struct pointer, right? Our mind underscore user. You see that? This is very similar to what we talked before. And we point going back here so we have a st structure it's a name which is a 12 cells age and because we allocated twice so we got we get twice right So this is the first cell and this is the second cell, right? And we made point S pointer point to that, right? And we also made head pointer point to that, right? Both of them are pointing to this memory returned by the MLOC and we cast it to a struct underscore user. Now, what I've done here is, I have taken the pointer dot name. If you look here, what is my S pointer, S point, S pointer dot name? We are going to allocate John to that, right? And the way we do that using string copy, right? We use string copy to copy John into string. So this guy will get John, right? And then we say S pointer dot H equal to 10, right? So the, the second cell gets 10, right? Similarly, the second pointer, we now, okay. Now we got this, we are able to do that, right? The second cell is still not initialized. So how do we go to the second cell? Using S pointer plus plus, right?
so by doing this s pointer plus plus we are shifting the pointer from here okay let me make it to to that guy right so that's something you have to understand so that is what we are doing here all right and uh, we generally do not want to want to get away from this parenthesis so we are going to do the alternate way how do we do the alternate way string pointer using the arrow operator okay okay that's a pointer we're going to remove I'm going to leave it there and similarly that is fine and I'm going to make it Jenny all right so this is alternate way of using the, the fields using the arrow operator okay so now if you go back to our picture we are able to store Jenny and the age 20 so now if you see that two things you need to observe now once we are done s pointer plus plus right that s pointer is no more pointing to no more pointing to to the first cell it's pointing to the second cell first cell right and s but which is pointing to the first cell head pointer head pointer remains the same pointing to the first cell this is this concept you will know you need when we do link list that you always have a link pointing to the first oh, linked list all right so let's go back let's now go back and start printing all right this is what I did you see here now s pointer I pointed where our head is pointing to so that means after we are done s pointer goes back it goes back to the first point to the first cell because we did what our head is pointing to s point is now pointing and then we print the first record the second record the age second field and we advance the pointer again print the second cell contents right now if you go back and compile it you see that it printed the first record Johnny 10 the second record Jenny 20 like what we talked so this concept the you would be using in linked list right you have to keep the head to the first memory and you lose another pointer pointing and traversing to different cells all right thank you